friends, this is Sanjay Rai again here with the very rocking information for all of you. So I'm going to talk about the bank, in which bank uh, should students uh, open their bank account when they arrive in Germany. So without wasting any time, let's begin this interesting video. I'm only going to talk about which are student friendly and very easy to assess for students. Okay, banks which offer a free of cost account for the students. So the first bank is in which I also have my account is Sparkasha Bank. In Sparkasha Bank, you can have a account with zero maintenance monthly. So in every bank, when you open a account, you have to pay a monthly charge for the maintenance of the account. It can be four euros, five euros, or even ten euros. That depends upon bank to bank. Okay, but in Sparkasha Bank, when you open a student account, you get it free of cost. You don't have to pay anything. But there is a clause. When you turn 25, after that, you have to pay a monthly maintenance charge. So now I'm not paying a monthly maintenance charge. After two years, I'm going to pay a monthly uh, maintenance charge, uh, which will be directly deducted from my account. Okay. So that is only a, a disadvantage of this bank. But the advantages of this bank are that you will see the Sparkash Bank have a lot of branches. Like wherever you go, wherever uh, you are in, in German, you will see a lot of branches of Sparkash Bank. And you can uh, do transactions from the ATM that is free of cost. Okay. In some of the ATMs, uh, in some of the bank, uh, when you get the ATM, uh, you have to pay for the transactions also. But for the Sparkash Bank, I don't have to pay for uh, any transaction. Okay. So because there are a lot of branches there. So now let's talk about the second bank, which is Commerce Bank. The best thing about the Commerce Bank is that when even if even if you are older than 25, then also you can open a free student account in this bank. You just have to show your student ID here. Okay, you have to tell that you have a student and all the papers and the documents which they require. And you can have a free account till the age of 30. Until you turn 30, you can have a free, of course, bank account in this bank. Okay, so that is a big uh, advantage of this. Now let's talk about what are the things when you get. In every bank, when you open a bank account, you will get a credit and a debit card whether it's a commerce bank or whether it's a spark cash bank there are a lot of banks but i'm only talking about these two banks because they are very very i think very much friendly with the students okay there is a dosha bank that has been on the top for students but when i came here uh, a lot of students were shifting to spark cash bank so i also just opened my account in this bank okay dosha bank is also free of cost they also charge a maintenance fee that is monthly so you have to decide by yourself in which bank you want to open okay and now i'm going to talk about an online bank uh, which doesn't have physical branches but it uh, is a bank so the name of the bank is N26. Okay, you have might have seen a lot of ad the students who are come or planning to come to Germany or know something about Germany, the banks. So there's a bank name uh, N26. You will get a credit card, MasterCard, okay? But there will not be a physical branches present. You just have to mail them, email them your problems. If you face any problems, okay? So you can, uh, email them and uh, you have to wait for their reply and one more thing in n26 there's a big advantage you don't need to show the amalgam like the shitty registration in the commerce bank joshi bank or spatkashi bank or any other bank which has a physical branches you have to show them the city registration for opening a bank account so that's the biggest advantage which i can say in n26 other than that, in Spatkashi and Commerce Bank, Commerce Bank also has uh, a lot of branches. So you can directly visit to them and uh, just, just tell them your problem and they will solve it. So that's the end of the video. How is this video helpful to you? And you can also write about your suggestion. What are the videos or what should be my next content? Or what, are, what type of information do you need from me? As like a daily, any kind of information which you need from me, you can write in the comment box below. So stay tuned for my next video. Keep liking and subscribing to my channel and keep sharing my channel.